This is giant, dude. Yeah. Still thick. Oh, it's big. Oh my gosh. Oh. Yeah! Boom! Boom! Everybody, check it out. Check it out right here. If I am, you know what today is? Today is a special day. You know why? Well, several reasons. We're number one. We're at Gunnersville Lake. I mean, that's like the fabled fishery of all times, right? Grass, deep water ledges, big giant Florida strain bass. Yeah, we're here at Gunnersville. And the other cool thing, special thing about today is today is day three. We made the cut again. We made the cut again, guys. So day one, day one was uh, scary, sketchy. Def I was deflated. That's a whole other story. You need to watch the video. If you haven't seen day one and day two of this tournament, you want to talk about roller. That might be the title: roller coaster ride at Gunnersville. Yeah, I mean, that's just, that's it right there. So, anyways, we are here. Look at this, guys. You want to talk about a cool setup here? Goose Pond in Scottsboro, uh, Alabama. Great location. We got the tent set up. We're gonna have tons of fans come out. I mean, the, hey. You guys know how to bass fish party right here in Alabama. That's right. This uh, this is like this is like Fenway Park. This is what this is. Okay. So guys, we made the cut. We dropped a big old certified Gville bag yesterday. And so today, we need to drop another certified Gville bag. I don't know what today's gonna bring. I really don't. Now here's the other good news. Canterbury made the cut. It's a little bit of bad news. Airy missed the cut by one ounce. One ounce. He had some fish care penalties on day one and on day two. Look, that happens. It's not like he did it on purpose. This, the fish expired. You get a penalty, cost him four ounces per fish. So that's a total of eight ounces. He missed it by one. So any one of those two fish that expired, he would have made the cut. He'd be fishing along with us today. So now he gets to sleep in. I'm in a little jelly a little bit about that because we've been getting up at like 3.15 to 3.30 every single day. Blasting off at 5.30. So guys, here's what it is. Day three video starts right now. We're gonna go out on G-Bill. Come along with me. Let's try to build a bag. Let's try to build a 25 pound bag today. Let's, do, let's try to build. I don't know what's gonna happen. I can come in with nothing. I can come with 25. I don't know. I know where they live. Let's go find them. Boy, aren't y'all excited that we're getting down to the last little grind there? I'm excited for you. I'm excited that you get maybe sleep in a couple days. For like a huh? week. You get to sleep in for like a week. After this? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm excited. Probably, we'll probably all wake up at like 4 in the morning going, we got to go. We got to go. <laughs> all right. Well, guys, check out the, the dock here full of some hammers right here. Um, you know what's crazy? When I started uh, fishing the elites, everybody kept saying, like day two weights, they, they on FLW the day two weights would always drop a pound, and, and I don't know if it was just be, uh, probably because there was just so many people, but here they don't ever drop. They always go up or stay the same. So, golly, 27 pounds to make the cut, based on the practice that was going on, we really missed the deal on practice. Like, like to be honest with you, the practice was awful, and, and we did not have a good one. And, and so for three days, where did I go wrong? You know, I gotta, I gotta evaluate that. I gotta figure that out because. You know, we're sitting here in the top 50 cut, sitting in a good spot. Caught him good yesterday. The practice was crummy. If you'd have told me what its weights are going to be, it'd be a lot less. I would have thought they were a lot less than what they are right now. Just when everyone was saying it was over, that I never stood a chance. They didn't know that they were only starting fire and bringing life back to these hands.
we are here. All right, let's see if we can get something special going today. Nobody's on it, which is good. I don't know how many fish are still here. Should hit them that cast right there. Took a minute yesterday to get them going. Be real careful on that foot pedal. Just don't hit it because it'll knock it off spot lock. There's one. There he is. Turn the camera on. Please, Lord, stay on. Stay on, baby. Good, good. Number one, three pounder. That's good. All right. Thank you, Lord. There he is. Oh, it's a good. That's a big one, dude. That's a big one. Oh my gosh, it's a giant. Please stay on. Oh, yeah, it's a giant, dude. I don't know if he's big or not. This one might not be that big. Unless he's coming at me. Hell yeah, it feels like a spot. But he's a spot. Yeah, a little spot. Oh, it's a white bass. Felt different. First one of those I've caught. I'm so far away from them on purpose because eventually I'll pull them to this ledge. And if I get on the ledge, then they, they there he is. No, nope. if I get them to the ledge and we're sitting on top of the ledge, then we, they don't bite as well. But in a minute they'll be, there's a ledge right there behind us. We're in 22 foot and there's a shell bed. And so in a little bit, they'll be sitting right there and I'll take a worm. Oh, got one? Yep, I got one. Oh, I got him in the back. Got him hooked in the back. Oh, it's a good one too. Oh my gosh, it's a big one. bigger than that. Still a good one though. Now they're over there, which is good. I haven't caught them over there. What's well, three? It's three, right? Two twelve.
It's one of those spots. I don't know if he's 15. <clears throat> yep. Pound 12. That's four, right? Oh my gosh, I'm worn out. To go from a hadn't cranked in like two years to crazy cranking. Oh my gosh. I found him in practice first day, late. It was all spots. But good spots, you know, like that and bigger. Two and a half. I was like, oh, that's cool. I said, well, maybe, maybe those fish, because those are all spawning areas. Maybe, maybe these fish will, maybe the largemouth will show up out here before the tournament's over, you know? And so I fished it day one. Lost a three pounder. I just never got them fired up again. It was weird. Hit it yesterday, hit it the first day in the afternoon, caught three spots. Two pounders. And then came here yesterday morning. I wasn't even gonna fish here, dude. I almost drove by it because I was like, I need more than just two pounders. So I was like, well, it was like 7.30. So let me just try it one more time. Even if I catch a couple, two pounders, that'll be all right. Well, <laughs> two pounders turned into 20 pounds. That's pretty cool. You bust them up on that crankbait. I need to throw a worm and a drop shot. They're still there. I, I don't feel them, but when you burn a crankbait through the same spot for two days, they're like, get, the, get, get, get out of here. <laughs> like, what the hell is going on? Get, get that thing out of here. <laughs> So guys, we've got two new camera guys. We have we have world famous Smith right here. He's working the camera for me today. He's actually my marshal. And then we have the famous, the one and only, Jacob Martin, along with the more famous, Luke Combs, is actually driving the boat today over there with us today. So what's up, man? See, that's what I'm talking about. Luke's been a long time fan of the channel. He had nothing better to do today than come hang out and make crusty videos with us. So thanks, Luke, for hanging. His bite. Oh, he pulled off, dude. Ah, uh, that was a weird bite. He never picked. He never thumped it. He literally just just started going with it. I'm sure he just grabbed the tail because like I never felt anything. Like literally just felt. Yeah, he had the tail. I never felt the bite or nothing. It just was like going. Oh ho ho ho. Oh, 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 he feels big, but he's on this light rod, so I don't know. Oh, yeah, he's stripping drag. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, yeah, it's a real big one, real big one, real big one. Oh, my gosh, it's a giant, dude. Did that on a jerk bait, bro. Did that on a jerk bait. I rigged that up last night. The last thing I rigged up. The last thing I rigged up last night, dude. I thought to myself, maybe. Just maybe. <sighs> Jake, look at that one, dude. Way to finish off a limit with another tank of swords. Yes. Time to start calling. That's what you call a super lazy post spawn fish. Like that one just showed up. That's how lethargic that fish was. See how weak it was? He didn't even like jump. He just like, he was like a dish rag. One more six pounder, dude. We'll call your mom again. It's called the cut call. Yeah, all the spots have left, which is strange. But I did catch 
quite a few of them the first day, so put a little dent on them yesterday as well. A little shell bed right out there. And those fish, I'm catching them from about right here to about right here, so I have to keep kind of fan casting around. I could use the pan optics, but I'm on spot lock fishing the other way. I'm holding up from it. All right, let's go. The difference today, too, is there's no bait here. Yesterday there was bait. You could, see, when I pulled up, they were schooling. There was a little bit this morning, but there were shad jumping out of the water. Not big ones, but like that size. You could see them on the graph. You could see clouds of bait on that channel.
They don't want to bite and you get it down there, get it down there to their depth and jerk that thing like that. That jerk base, uh, crank base going blah, 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 blah. It makes them just go crazy. All right, I'm gonna put, I gotta get in this box right here. I gotta open all this up because I'm terrified one's gonna jump out. I think it's that little spot. Yeah, that little spot right here, right here. That's that dude. Yeah. Wow. That's her cold fish. I don't know if they're gonna fire here today or not. You had that wind for two days and they they, they fed okay. Because it was pushing in on it hard. Oh, there's bite. There's bite. Nope. Little. Alright. So if we can get these fish fired up. That could be a big deal. There's literally 500 of them here. 500. But there's zero wind and no current. So it's like the worst conditions possible for getting these offshore fish to bite. But we're getting a couple of them. So in the day, I just need to get a, a couple big ones here. And that would be awesome. are biting this big worm we can creep down through here maybe and get them to hit this a little less than on ledge fishing it's kind of like bed fishing in a way ledge fishing is like bed fishing you gotta like what mood the fish is in right mm -hmm. not every bed fish you pull up and you throw the same bait the same way it eats it like you got to do little tricks and wait on this one and this one's really great you know whatever exactly how these are we pulled up, it's dead slick. These fish are super inactive. They're just down there like, it's just like after going to the Waffle House, dude. They don't want to do nothing. So we bombed that crankbait a few times and we blew it through their, their house five times. Caught one, but we still got them, woke them up. We like slapped them in the face a few times. And now they're like down there and then we went in there with a worm. Now they're, 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 their heartbeat's going a little quicker now because they were, they were just chilling. They were, they were napping. Oh, 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 here we go. He feels big, dude. He feels big. Nope. Golly, why do they feel so big? It's because they're 20 something feet deep. They're just not that big. They're not going to help me. All right, we're going to go shallow for a little bit. Then we'll fish the last hour, hour and a half, two hours of the day. I think a lot of people fished all this personally but they didn't sight fish it because you just couldn't see catfish noodle and spot there's a three pounder maybe a three that might help i don't know let's see how it acts i don't know if i can get this one to bite acting kind of funky Definitely not worth sitting on. I mean, he's a two and a half, three pounder. He's not gonna help me much. We wanna find an easy one. Throw it over there and he bites it, fish. get one more big one we might make it it's gonna be close I just don't know I mean it's it's Gunnersville they should have 
they should catch them just as good as they have been. Uh, I'm sure of, that, sure of it, just because there's just too many good fish in this lake. So if I don't catch another big one, I'm gonna be just a little short, I think. That 10 pounds the first day is what, what cost me huge. So guys, this video series, the entire video series has been presented by and sponsored by Favorite Fishing, okay? Favorite Fishing Rods. Been using them for a long time. They're legit. You know, you've seen me uh, do everything I do with them and they hold up, they're lightweight, they're balanced. And the cool thing is Winston and the crew, they listen to the pro anglers they have. Myself, Mark Daniels, Dustin Connell, Andy Morgan. I mean, I'm leaving a bunch out. Brian Latimer, they listen to us. And so when we need a rod that really has that perfect action for a certain technique, they build it quick. I don't even know how they do it that fast, but they build them fast. And we do like seven or eight revisions until we get it perfect. And that's how we, that's how we do it at Favorite. You know, this is the Rush series, which I like a lot. And then the other one that I fish with a lot, which you see on the deck of my boat up there, is the Six Stick series. And then the Defender, you've seen me crank with that. That's the actual Defender. And I'm not even sure they make that particular rod anymore. That's the Lunkers TV Defender 711. That's my little crankbait rod right there. So that's a perfect one. I'm actually going to tweak uh, a 711 at Favorite and probably stick my name on it. So be looking for that thing coming out probably pretty soon because that's a really, really good rod. As you saw how far it launches. Uh, crankbait, hair jigs, stuff like that, medium-sized swim baits. It's a fantastic rod for that. And um, and then of course the Pro Series. The Pro Series are really really good as well. So, anyways, thanks, favorite, for sponsoring this uh, this series. Appreciate you. Well, the spots are gone. That's for sure. One minute warning. All right, man. That's all she wrote, guys. Well, that is officially it, guys. I um, did the very best I could do. That's all I do now. And I appreciate you guys supporting me and following along on this crazy adventure. Uh, you know, it's going to be close. I, I mean, stranger things have happened, but I don't think I'm going to make it, but we're going to see. It'd be nice to be able to fish one more day. What's your name? Dustin. Dustin, all right. You got a very important job, Dustin. All right, look at that one. Look at that one. Look at that one. I'm letting them get out now. Look at that one. Pretty good one, huh? Yes, sir. Look at those. <laughs> That's a good one there, huh? Got that one on a jerk bait. He didn't even know what happened. I got them all right, not as good. Just a couple big ones in there. Good deal, man. Good one, though. You got another big one. Good job, Scott. Oh, thank you. You got 18? No. I've got, um, that, that big one only weighs five pounds. Got another one, I think, is four, and then the rest of them are. From your current uh, tournament leader to a guy who's led since day number one, the very first hour of this tournament, a classic qualifier and a Bassmaster Open winner from Wisconsin, Caleb Kufal. At 43 pounds and four ounces, he needs nine pounds even to take the lead here today. Not a problem. 23 pounds, nine ounces. 23, nine, and with 66 pounds, 13 ounces. Caleb Kufal is once again back in the lead here at the Berkeley Bassmaster. Let's bring out the 2019 Elite Series Angler of the Year from Alabama, Scott Canterbury. At 28 pounds and an ounce to start the day. Five fish to add to that here today. Fifteen pounds, five ounces, puts him in twenty-third place with forty-three pounds and six ounces. A lot of great finishes, but you did have something very unique. You rushed off the stage yesterday. I got to ask you to make it to your daughter's graduation. Did you make it in time? And how things go? I did. It was great, and there she is today. But. Uh... Everybody congratulate her, but she's ready to go to Tuscaloosa. Stand up. Let's congratulate her, ladies and gentlemen.
Why be a pro angler if you cannot embarrass your daughter? Stand up or we will stop this entire weigh-in. Roll Tide. Yeah, she's getting ready to go to start uh, college now, but uh, it's been good. I love seeing a crowd. I got uh, about 50 pints of red diamond ice sweet tea out in the truck. We'll get some of it out. Everybody wants some, but, uh, you know, it's been good. I haven't caught a four-pounder all week, but, uh, you know, I was planning on coming out here and fishing deep, and, you know, they're just a little bit behind, and I sort of grinded all week. I threw a net bait, big bopper worm on a 5 6 tank Titan tungsten weight in the eelgrass and caught almost every fish that I weighed in. So uh, it's been a good week, you know. I mean, there's a couple guys. I know we talk about it all the time. We all take care of our resources. We love, we take care of the bass as good as we possibly can. There's a couple guys that missed the cut because of a deceased fish this week. I got Fish Life Fish Care as a sponsor, man. They have a first aid for deep hooked and tongue hooked fish. And you can ask my, my uh, marshal. I had one that he was glossy eyed, duck, blood everywhere. And if I would have just threw him, caught him and threw him back, he would have died. But I, put some in him on his gills and everything, put him in a live well, in 30 minutes he was as good as the rest of them. And it's, it's a real testament. <laughs> Appreciate y'all. Uh, thanks to all my sponsors. You couldn't do it without them. We'll see y'all at the next one. Let's hear it for him. Works great for a mean hangover too, I hear. You know, day three, uh, had a pretty good day. It just, you know, I never caught a big one all week. I had, like I said, we're at Garner's when you gotta catch big ones. I never caught a four pounder, but uh, pretty happy. I th you, know, you know, I'm gonna finish middle you know, somewhere around 30th, so uh, it's a good week. Caught a lot of fish today, just needed a big bite. Get a little momentum going, ready to go north. Looking forward to that. Uh, see you at Champlain. Speaking of big events, he won the last Elite Series event we had from Springville, Alabama. The Elite Series champion, the little ball of hate, Wes Logan. Five fish here today, looking for 10, 11 to get inside the cut. 20 pounds, eight ounces. 20 pounds, eight ounces. And with 55 pounds, five ounces, Wes Logan moves into second place. And he's trying to go back to back on the Bassmaster Elite Series. He's a seven-time FLW Tour winner, a former Forest Wood Cup champion from Coolston, Florida, Scott Martin. Made a giant charge yesterday, has 30 pounds, four ounces to keep that charge and get himself in the top 10. He's looking for 17 pounds, 12 ounces. 17 pounds, eight ounces. 17, eight and just four ounces short of the top 10 cut for Scott Martin this time around. With 47 pounds, 12 ounces, Scott Martin moves into 11th place currently. Scott, I know you're probably upset to be not in the top 10, but a great finish, and man, it's not what happened yesterday or today. You really did your job. It was day one that's going to be the Achilles heel for you this time around. Yeah, I mean, you go out here in Gunnersville and catch 10 pounds. I mean, I was in, uh, I, I kidded, I joked, uh, beat 18 people. I was almost in last place. So, you know, it hurt me a lot, but, you know, the last two days have been fun. Uh, you know, my main goal is to try to make the Bassmasters Classic, try to pull off something special. So this was very important for points. And, uh, but you know, this lake was fishing, it was fishing different, you know, and, and I think everybody was catching them so many different ways. There wasn't really a dominant pattern, really. I mean, you could kind of catch a few out deep, a few up shallow, but I had a good week. I want a huge shout out to my sponsors. Without them, I wouldn't be able to do this. You know, this is my first year running Skeeter Yamaha. It's been awesome running up and down this river. The waves today with all those big boats. Everybody kept telling me the Skeeter has a soft ride, and it really does. It is a fantastic boat. And I want to thank you, everyone, everyone, for all the support. And we're going to hang out afterwards. We've got some SMC hats. I'm probably going to go over by the Yamaha booth, hang out. So I'd love to meet everybody, and we'll have a little party. Wish I'd have made the cut. We'd have had even a bigger party. But off to the next one. Thanks, guys. Let's hear it for them. All right, so 17, 8, 4. I don't even remember what they said. So, golly, you know, so close. So close on this deal but you know it, making a comeback from a 10 pound deficit or a 10 pound day one sitting in 80 first place or whatever i can't complain right i mean we did what we needed to do i wish i could have caught a couple fish this afternoon to put me over that 18 19 20 pound range i figured i needed 19 and that's probably what it's going to be but uh good points guys scott made a huge comeback as well um that was very important for him 
Airy missed it by just a fraction, so it's not going to hurt him for points. It's going to help him, and uh, we're off to the next one. So, you know, we're, we're going to hang out here a little bit longer, guys, but 17-something, not bad. Not bad. All right, how you doing? Yeah. Can I get a photo? <laughs> how you doing, darling? How you doing? All right, we'll get a photo. <laughs> <laughs> We're pulling for you. Thank you. How are you doing, sir? Man, I'm doing a lot better now. I've got to meet you. All right. What's your dad growing up and I'm not doing much you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Jump in here, boys. How y'all doing? What's up, man? All right. Awesome. Good deal. Thirteenth place. They said that's supposed to be lucky, right? Is it lucky thirteen? But that's kind of unlucky because I should have. Yeah, lucky seven. Man, that'd have been good. But hey, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching this video and all the support, guys. I say this every video, and I truly mean it uh, from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much. We we film these videos. We get up at three in the morning. We stay up till one in the morning editing videos for you to enjoy. So if you don't mind, hit this like button, hit the subscribe button share it out to like a bunch of people and uh look here's the deal good points that's our main goal make the bassmasters classic we're in a position now in the year where i can start gambling a little bit now we're gonna we're gonna bassmaster classic dead center we're gonna try to win a tournament let's try to win one of these next two tournaments that's what we're gonna do guys so we're gonna take a little bit of a reprieve from the tournament fishing we got some other cool stuff coming your way but we're about to go bust some bugs bam we gone, we gone.